It's going to be really fun to watch the box office on November 10th when the Marvels drops because the forecast for this movie is not good if this movie really does open at 75 million that is going to be a disaster and i don't know if disney can take any more <laughs> they've had so many box office flops this year and last year don't forget they still have that wish movie coming out which I've only seen one trailer for that movie. They're not even promoting it. Maybe they're going to put all their eggs in this basket first and then switch over to Wish. I don't know. But, yeah, the forecast for this movie is bad. We'll see what happens. Maybe it's wrong. I mean, it is still kind of early, but I will be blown away if this movie flops this badly because when you compare this to the first one, I mean, that'll be a dramatic drop. But I'm sure they'll blame men somehow. Can't wait for those articles. Sexist fans. Where, what are they doing? Why won't they come embrace Brie Larson? Why won't, they, why won't they come hug her and praise her wooden performance in this movie? Though I can tell she's kind of, she's kind of trying to take some of that criticism to heart because she cracks a smirky half smile in the movie trailer. So uh, there is that. Uh, the reason I'm talking about this is because of this new report right here from bounding into comics saying that she almost didn't come back for the character. Uh, Brie Larson reportedly grew delusioned with Captain Marvel role. Doesn't want to play the part anymore. Now, obviously she did come back to play the character again. But the way that this movie is kind of setting things up, I wonder if she's going to leave the franchise. I wonder if she's going to leave Marvel. Because it's not Captain Marvel 2. It's the Marvels. Miss Marvel. Monica Rambeau is there. Monica Rambeau, spoilers if you didn't know this, uh, was Captain Marvel for a time in Marvel Comics. She could easily assume the mantle and become Captain Marvel in the MCU. And I don't think very many people would miss Brie Larson's Captain Marvel. Though I don't think many people are going to tune in for Monica Rambeau either. Though I will say she's a more liked character than Carol Danvers. Carol Danvers actually used to be pretty liked when she was, you know... <laughs> A popular character when she had that sexy costume. Everybody loved her. There's a reason you still see women cosplay in that outfit, by the way. You don't see... I see more of that cosplay than I do of the current setup, but I'm sure somebody's going to argue with me on that in the comments, but it's fine. Uh, let's listen to this. A new report claims that actress Brie Larson has grown delusioned with the role of Captain Marvel in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, and she is no and she no longer wants to play the character anymore. As reported by the Direct, uh, Jonah Robinson claims that Larson grew delusioned with her role in the book MCU: The Reign of the Marvel Studios. Specifically, Robinson wrote the future of those Marvel icons was unclear. The departure of franchise. Actors like Robert Downey Jr., Chris Evans, Scarlett Johansson had already taken its toll, as had the shocking loss of Chadwick Boseman. But other MCU stalwarts were heading for the exits. The Guardians of the Galaxy cast went on a farewell tour. Brie Larson grew delusioned, and Marvel tussled with Sony in a custody battle over Tom Holland. A lot of this is true. Now... I was actually reading something the other day about how Marvel originally planned for after Endgame, like the big three, which used to be Captain America, Iron Man, and Thor, were now going to be Black Panther, Spider-Man, and Captain Marvel. And that kind of lines up with the rumors that were going around even, I think, years ago. We were talking about this and how Captain Marvel 
was going to replace Iron Man. And that in itself is laughable uh, because she is just nowhere near the level of Robert Downey Jr., who was pure charisma in that role. He was really good as Iron Man, just oozed charisma. And Brie Larson does not do that with, with Carol Danvers. She has a very wooden performance. It's not very good. Which is strange because in other movies, she's much better. But for some reason in these Marvel movies, maybe it's direction. I don't know. Uh, she comes off as just angry and kind of just that tropey boss girl. And it's it's not a character that appeals to people. The sales of her comics kind of prove that. People will point to that that first movie making as much money as it did. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and remind you that it was sandwiched between two of the biggest movies of all time. This movie is gonna show you just how popular, not just her character, but Miss Marvel and uh, Samuel Jackson, like all those characters. How popular are there? Are they? You're about to find out. You're about to find out. And if that box office is true, is true. It's going to be funny because we're all me and a bunch of other people are going to get to say, "Oh, we were right." Uh, during an appearance on the Watch podcast, podcast, Robinson added, "I don't know if Brie Larson was the wrong person for the role necessarily, but the toxic backlash means that Brie Larson doesn't want to play Carol Danvers anymore." She added, "That's sort of what she said. She was interviewed at D twenty three, and they're like, so you know, we're going to see a bunch more movies from Carol Danvers.'" She's like, "I don't know." Does anyone want to see me play Carol Danvers? Doesn't seem like it. And that's this interview right here. Uh, Robertson went on to detail that Larson wanting to leave the role of Captain Marvel is not the case during the filming of Avengers Endgame. She said, Chadwick Boseman told me the story about the set of Endgame where he and Bree and Holland sat around and talked about the future of Marvel and how exciting it was for them. But then, you know, Bozeman passed away. Sony and Marvel started to argue about Spider-Man, which is never going to stop, by the way. That's never going to stop. As long as Sony has control of the movie rights, they're always going to push for as much as they can get. So uh, don't be shocked if he ends up, he does end up leaving the MCU. Uh, but, uh, after all that happened, uh, apparently the toxic fandom is what started to sour her on this role. She added, there's so many factors that came into play that sort of knocked their plan out under them. The report comes out just as the Disney company and Marvel Studios are ramping up promotion for Larson's upcoming The Marvels film, where she does come back, uh, but the film is facing box office headwinds. So this is interesting. So she almost didn't come back. I wonder how did they get her to come back then? Because it sounds like she was going to quit. And I remember hearing that get kicked around in some of the channels, you know, outside of the mainstream. People were talking about it. I think there was something to it. So and they must have given her a big fat stack of cash to come back, making that budget even worse. But she did come back, and I wonder if her being disillusioned is what ended her true sequel because this isn't called Captain Marvel 2. This is the Marvels. So I wonder if they're setting that up. Gave her some money, and at the end of this movie, does she leave and give the mantle to Monica Rambeau? That's interesting. I guess we'll see what happens. I don't know anything about her contract or she has any more movies in it or if this is just it. It's tough to say, but it's interesting that she really was thinking about quitting. So it kind of gives a lot of validation to those rumors. And if she thought about it before, I don't think that she really wants this role. I don't think she wants it. She's even said it in interviews before. The only reason that she really took this role is so she could have a soapbox so that she could do her activism because it's a big superhero movie. And then she started to do her activism, and it made her one of the most, the most disliked women in Hollywood. If she can't do her activism without any blowback, 
Why even stay in this role? Anyway, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you guys think about this. I'd like to hear from you. Also, if you would, please like, subscribe, share the video. Make sure you're still subscribed. Hit that notification bell. Check out my Rumble and Locals, and we'll see you on the next one. Peace. Make sure to check out my Locals. There's a link in the description. It's a fun community that I'm trying to build over here. If you don't want to support me on YouTube, you can come over here. None of that money goes to YouTube. You also can just come over here for free. But if you are a supporter over here, I do plan on doing an extra live stream once a month and throwing links to the supporters so you can actually come on and have a supporter live stream with me. Also, it's a good place to catch all of my content. You don't have to worry about notifications like YouTube. They'll definitely work over here. So come check out my locals.